I recently picked up a Blackmagic Pocket 6K that I've been rigging up as my main camera. After doing some research and price comparisons, I found the new Small Rig Star Trail matte box with a built-in variable ND filter to be a nice way to knock two items off my list at the same time. Needed a matte box and an ND filter. While doing that research though, I didn't find a lot of info on the Star Trail, so I thought I'd post some of my findings and hopefully this will help you in making your decision if this is something you're looking for. I did in fact buy this mat box with my own money. Small Rig has no idea who I am. They didn't send me anything to review or ask me to say anything in particular. The opinions you're about to subject yourself to belong to me and me alone. Your mileage may vary. The Pocket 6K is a great camera, but it lacks any sort of built-in ND filter. So it has dual native ISOs, which helps, but it's not a replacement for a good ND filter. My typical shoots don't allow for a whole lot of fiddling with this and changing that around between shots, and we also tend to rely a lot on available light. I need to be ready to roll, and I need to be able to quickly adapt when we need to move around or our surroundings change. This led me toward variable ND options. They're not always the most neutral color-wise, but they are quick and easy to make an adjustment as lighting changes during a shoot. Opening the box, you'll find a nice storage case for everything. And inside there, you'll find the variable ND assembly here. There's the top flag up here as well, carbon fiber, so it's nice and light. There are four adapter rings for installing with various lenses. The matte box is a 95 millimeter opening, and the included adapters will install on your 67, 72, 77, or 82 millimeter lenses. You can order additional adapter rings down to 52 millimeter and up to 86 millimeter from Small Rig. Flip up the adapter ring holder and you'll find the matte box itself in a nice protected space molded into the matte box. And finally, we have a lifter that will attach to your dual 15 millimeter rod setup to keep the weight of the matte box from pulling downward on your lens and on the camera. So I'm gonna demonstrate this on one of my 2.5K cinema cameras. There are zero instructions in the kit and not much on their website, but it's not too difficult to figure out. And one thing I did notice though to point out is that in the video that Small Rig posted about this kit, it looks as if you'll be able to use the variable ND in conjunction with a second filter in the supplied 4x tray. You may be able to, not out of the box. It appears there's an extender stage required, and if you look at the image on the website, that silver lever on the side is the release for removing the hood from the filter mechanisms. In this image, the user has two of those silver levers, one to add each filter tray. There's only one stage in the kit, and the system will not close and lock if you try to fit both the variable ND tray and the other filter tray. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So, again, we'll open up the kit. It comes in a nice car carrying case, like I mentioned. And in here, you've got the, the four uh, step-up rings. Um, up here is the actual variable ND filter. Uh, you've got a flag. This camera, I'm going to be, I've got one of my Rokinon Cine lenses on there. And I'm going to they're very touchy to get threaded correctly. Takes a few attempts. But there we got it. Okay, and so now I've got the 15 millimeter rod support, um, and then here is the box. I'm going to slide that out of the way, get this over here. So yeah, as you can see here, these are the, the different stages. Um, so. You've got this, and you can use it with simply this. You, that's as far as you need to go. Um, loosen up here, and 
Yeah, you put it on. Yeah, there we go. Get it straight. Tighten it down. Um, and in there, this is the extra tray for one of your four by filters. I'm going to take this back off and I'm just going to put the, the rod support on just to show it. Um, I do like the, the three, it's got two side pins to keep it from, from spinning on the support, but this just uh, screws in here to the bottom of this stage. Again, we've got our step up on here. So I'm going to just slide that right there onto my rods. It's in there and that part is ready to go. Now for this, let me just uh, get this out of the way. You, you put the bottom in the clips first, lift up these, lock it down. It's got magnets that will pull it into place really nicely. That's actually a really nice feature. But again, you, you line up the bottom and the top, drop those down, and now it's on there. Oh, I forgot to tighten it down around the lens. So. Actually, it needs to come back a little bit further. There we go. There we go. I like using the rod support just for a little bit extra. I don't want don't want it pulling on the the mount of the camera or the lens itself. The extra weight. Um, so there's that, and we'll put the flag on last. Variable ND comes in here. So this has its own, uh, it's basically its own filter tray, similar to the ones that you can swap out, but you can see here how that is going to work. Pretty simple, right? You literally have to <laughs> So we just have to take this back off and there's a little notch slide down in there it's on and again get the bottom lined up first pull these out snap the top in make sure it's connected on all four corners it is and there you have it now you have the variable ND on there I don't know if you'll be able to tell now you can see the the text on there changing a little bit but there it's it's really that simple um, again that image on the website, there were two of the stages here. So obviously not in the kit, you would have to add another stage. I'm guessing they sell those separately. Again, very nice that this has the two pins to keep it from, from rotating. Also nice is that this doesn't come out. So you're not gonna lose it when you take your flag off. Um, so yeah, you just tighten that down. You got a French flag. You have some protection for the lens. When you're not rolling, you can just drop that down, keep it protected, but there you have it. Simple as that. That's really, really, that's about it. I've only had this mat box about a week and a half, so I haven't had a ton of time to use it yet, but for the most part, my impressions have been pretty positive. It's really nice to have it there all the time and infinite flexibility to bring it in and out just the right amount and versus two ND settings in the camera to choose from. The variable ND has eight stops and you can set it to exactly what you need for your specific situation. One thing I've noticed though in their videos, they show it moving in and out really smoothly and in reality the adjustment wheel seems really tight and it's hard to get a good smooth setting change. So I wouldn't recommend trying to use it during a shot while you're rolling, unless you're using a motorized adjustment that will turn it more smoothly and at longer distances. There's just not a lot there for your finger to roll across. So it takes multiple efforts to get from one end to the other. You can also use just the variable ND attached to your lens without the full box. So that makes it really nice if you want to just shed a little weight or size and Speaking of weight, the competition on this item in this price range is the Tilta Mirage, which costs a little bit more, but it's definitely lighter. I don't consider this to be heavy by any means, but if you're counting grams, you'll want to perhaps shell out a few more bucks for a little less weight. 
As I mentioned, the star trail can be operated with a motor sold separately for smoother operation or for remote operation. Uh, most of my setups are static, so the need for that is going to be pretty rare for me. So I went with this option. I also like having the top flag here just to keep sunlight from hitting the lens, but it also acts like a quick and easy lens cap to protect my lenses when, during when I'm not rolling, moving a setup. Um, it's not something that's specific to this particular matte box, but it is just something I really like. Um, so that's my initial impression of the small rig star trail. Overall, it's pretty nice, not perfect. I'd like the variable ND to be a little smoother and it could be lighter. I wish it had included the extra stage for using two filters at once. And I wish the marketing materials had been a little more clear and accurate. I wanted to get this video up as a resource for folks looking at the small rig, but full disclosure, I've already ordered the Tilta Mirage and it arrived right before I started filming today. So you know for a fact it's on the lens right now. I haven't set up the, the return on the small rig yet because I want to compare them side by side. I like the small rig, but I decided I wanted to test the Tilta as well. I'll post a follow up once I've run it through the paces and let you know what I end up deciding. Well, there you go. Hopefully this helps to inform your decision, makes it a little easier if, you're, if you've been looking for more info on the small rig. If you do decide to pick one up, you can use the link in the description to help support our channel. Any links you find down there are likely affiliate links and I do likely receive a commission. I did, however, spend my own money on this matte box and small rig did not have any role in the production of this video. Again, the opinions are mine, your mileage may vary. Thanks for watching, and if you found this to be educational or informative, please hit those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you again soon.